hello guys you are welcome back in today's video i'm going to be doing the nigerian tag growing up in a nigerian slash african household you want to use the left hand you are using the hand of abomination period you are using the hand of course In a Nigerian household, you dare not. <laughs> but the reason why that happens is because they believe using left hand to hand something to your elder is a sign of disrespect. And mad recycling, like you are probably the best recyclers on this earth. Even things you don't expect that can be recycled, you recycle it. Like. You must like what they buy. You have to be grateful for it. Yes, you actually have to be grateful for it because they didn't pluck the money from tree. But then you know there are some times, uh uh, at least now, you know, at least let me tell you my mind. Let me tell you my mom, bro, I don't like that. Like a very stupid question or just something like that. You know the generic answer. Put it on my head. One day. One day I'll put it on your head. Good when they are kissing or when they are romancing, I can't be in the parlor when that's happening. Like I won't even be comfortable watching that kind of bad thing with my parents. Even as I am, like as I'm big like this, I know what's up now. They know that I'm supposed to know what's up now. If that kind of scene comes up, I'll just act like I'm pressing my phone or just go out. I'll just totally act like I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> So anytime a visitor comes, some generous visitors, they might want to, you know, give the children money and stuff like that. And it's expected that you give, hand that money over to your parents, maybe your dad or your mom. Most times, usually the mom that children will tend to hand over that money to. This one has not, this one has not really happened to me because most times, if they give money, when I was younger, I will, I will hand it over to my parents, and I don't ask for it. I don't ask for it like. I just feel like it's kind of disrespectful but you know some people have mind and they will ask for it and once you ask for it you get the reply the school fees don't call the food don't call and the clothes don't call and most of the time you can't even say anything again because that money obviously cannot afford the school fees the clothes the food so you just gotta leave that the next one is comparing god they can literally compare with anything i said what i said they can compare it with your cousin, they can compare it to, to a fan. The reason why parents do that is because they are trying to use the other person as a reference point. I mean, if this person can do this, why can't you do better? I understand that, but that comparing thing is not cool. But I can be so annoying. So this particular one, I saw this on Papia's page. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he was kind of questioning, okay, why is it that African elderly women, yes, that's how he said this, why is that he always eat the meal before the protein? African elderly women, um, what the heck? I need to understand who made the rules, okay, if you're eating food that has protein on top of it, you must finish the food first before you can eat the protein. Um, I was really like concurring, I was like, ah, ah, it's true now, food no be food. After all, no be food. You understand that kind of thing. But then I came to realize that parents might actually do that because they know that if you eat the protein on top of the food, you might lose interest for the main meal. So guys, I hope you found this video entertaining. Comment down other things you can relate to and you know, subscribe again. Just hit that like button. Just subscribe, okay? Bye. <laughs>